So today I just want to talk about other survivors of satanic ritual abuse and other survivors of MK Ultra that really helped me to not feel so alone when my awakening began last year in August. And the first person that I want to thank is Katie Groves. Um, you are an incredibly brave and courageous person and I owe you so much. You have so much of my gratitude because it takes a lot of courage to come out against the crimes of the government, the CIA, the FBI, all of the cover-up, the police, especially when you have family members and um, people who are close to you involved. Um, I felt incredibly alone when my memories came back to me and all I wanted were answers like am, am I, I'm not the only one I can't be the only one and I think that a lot of people have that same feeling when they go through their awakening too so I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Katie Groves and thank you so much. I love you so much and um, just keep doing what you're doing. I know that it's not easy. It's, it's, it's a rough road and when you choose to come forward, you, you have to weigh the, um, the responsibility of informing the public about the atrocities and um, just the most grotesque human rights violations that people can even fathom versus remaining silent and then never be able, being able to tell the public about what's happened to you. So, um, yeah, keep being courageous. Um, I'm always rooting for you. You are in my prayers and I'm always sending positive vibes your way. Um, the next person that I really want to thank is Kathy O'Brien. Kathy O'Brien has been speaking out against satanic ritual abuse for a long time. Um, her and Fiona Barnett. So, um, actually, I have Kathy O'Brien's book here, Transformation America, and I'm only about a third of the way through it because the, the material and the subject matter is just so heavy, and I, I kind of have to just set it aside because it's a lot. However, um, thank you. Thank you, Kathy, for speaking out. And you are another person, another beam of light in this very dark world. And your story and your sharing has helped me to not feel so alone as well. Um, you're in my prayers as well, and your daughter. Um, and it breaks, it breaks my heart that this is still going on. And, um... I will always hold out hope for the future that enough people will wake up and enough outrage will occur to create some sort of change. However, there is absolutely no justice. There is no amount of justice that can be served to right the wrongs that have been placed upon the victims of SRA, MK Ultra, and the Illuminati. Um, so thank you so much. And I also want to thank Fiona Barnett for speaking out. Um, when you're involved in high profile crimes, or I'm sorry, not high profile crimes, but when you are a victim of crimes committed by high profile people, same as Kathy O'Brien, it is extremely scary to come out and bring this information forward to the public. So, the three of you are enormous heroes in my in my heart and in my soul. And I just I thank you profusely for the courage that you have shown the world, but also helped me and other countless survivors to find courage within ourselves to keep going and to keep talking and to keep sharing this information, which is so important. Um, 
another thing too is a lot of people have told me that Instagram is not a good way for them to reach me because they have Facebook and they don't know how to use Instagram, but they need to get a hold of me. Um, so last night I sort of just quietly made an in uh, bleh, a Facebook account, um, and I'll put the link in the description of this video. So those of you who have been wanting to talk to me and contact me, um, this is another way for you to do that. And, um, yeah, just, I think you just send me like a friend request or something and then you can message me. I'm not quite sure, but I only have like two posts up right now and you'll recognize my picture too. Cause I use the same picture on, um, my YouTube, my Instagram, and now my Facebook. Um, I usually, I've been kind of against social media for like a while. Um, it's kind of a love-hate relationship, a double-edged sword, where you have a lot of just dumb stuff, like, I don't care about people's vacation pictures, I don't care about people's selfies, I don't care about pictures of what you had for breakfast yesterday, like, um, there's just a lot of superficial stuff on there, but, you know, it is, it is, in the sense, a good way to connect other people, to help other people through um, tough situations, because I mean, if you are a victim of satanic ritual abuse, there is a high probability that you don't have a lot of people around you who understand what you're going through, or even want to hear about it, and what have you, because a lot of the people around you might be your perpetrators, and I've been there, and it really really sucks to not have anybody to talk to about it. And it hurts even more so when the people who you thought were close to you, the people who you thought loved you, don't even want to learn about it or hear about it. Um, so my heart really does go out to survivors. And to this day, I have not made a single dime off of informing the public or making videos. People have offered to help me out monetarily and um, I politely refuse. I appreciate that, that's very kind, however I choose to live within my means and just go about earning money like anybody else because I believe that the information that I have in my experiences, the public deserves to hear about this without any sort of um, strings attached, free of charge, and I believe that information should just always be free and open to the public, no matter what. If you have to, you know, do this quid pro quo with certain information, like Freemasons do, um, there's no integrity in that. So, Everything that I put out to the public, I'm not asking for anything in return except to understand what I'm talking about, share information, and um, basically that's it, you know? Uh, the last video that I made, I got a lot of backlash from people who are still really holding on and clinging to these lies that mass media and the corporations and the elites try to um, keep people ensnared in. Like, uh, if, if you really, really enjoy putting up your Christmas tree and lighting your house up with these really expensive and energy-wasting Christmas lights, by all means, have fun. But just know that you are seriously glorifying a satanic holiday. The elites, here's what they do. They decorate their house to the hilt. They waste tons of money, electricity, and resources on glorifying Baphomet. And on December 25th, they usually eat a baby. I'm not kidding. Sometimes they'll order a baby alive and they'll kill it in a ritual. <laughs> he can't help it. Man, this fucking broad sucks, doesn't she? <laughs> they'll order one. It's on the menu. <laughs> what a rotten pile of shit. Sometimes they'll order a baby that's dead. Sometimes they'll order one that's cooked already. And sometimes they'll order a baby that's covered in gold leaf. I'm not kidding about this. Um, so 
I personally do not celebrate Christmas. On December 25th, I celebrate the birth of Christ in the month of September, here on out. Um, if you choose to... I'm surprised she doesn't celebrate it on fucking Halloween. <laughs> fucking evil bitch. <laughs> oh, fucking man. This I try to get through this fucking thing. I can't. Oh, if I don't stop, they'll ban this fucking thing. <laughs> what a rotten pile of shit, man. Really. Do that, then that's on you. You have to reason with yourself about that, but I do not feel good at all celebrating any pagan holidays. Um, so, whatever. Do your thing. Um, if you want to keep being blind and uh, deaf to what Christ really lived for, then that's, that's your problem. And like I said, I can't make everyone wake up. I can't um, force people to understand. Well, I can help people to understand, but I can't understand for you. You need to comprehend what I'm saying, and I'm not trying to persuade anyone away from Christianity. I'm trying to lead people to Christianity and down the right path. Not to be um, manipulated by mass media and the satanic narrative. So I'm going to continue talking about things and uh, yeah, nobody's going to stop me regarding that. Um, later on, I do want to start making videos regarding my clothing center memories. I have been compiling everything down and writing everything down. And working on that so um, stay tuned for that business but in the meantime this video was just kind of a little update I wanted to thank a handful of other survivors who are heroes to me and um, I, I sincerely just wish you the best from the bottom of my heart and um, I wish I could round you all up and give you a big hug but I know that that's not really feasible right now, and since we are all um, extrajudicial targeted individuals, it's probably not a, um, a wise thing to do at this moment. So anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Yo. What a fucking rat. Really? What a fucking rat. That is one rat motherfucker right there. Ratting it right up.